How does Fiesta enhance orgasm? Well, <laughs> I, w I wish you were, you were around, right? I'm around. Okay, so we'll take you through the various options that we have, and I'm sure you will love it, because we have about nine different Fiesta variants that are all directed to a particular sexual challenge, right. from premature ejaculations to any other fun that you want to have. So even those, don't, those who don't like condom at all, we have what we call the extra thing that gives you the feeling of not wearing any condom at all and still feel protected. We have what we call the taste and smell, which taste and smell, they are usually good for oral sex and all that. So Right, you welcome to our channel, this is TV UCC. My name is Louise Beckwin, you can call me the PDF. And of course, this is Campus Rundown, your number one infotainment show that brings you update on activities that happen on the land of the University of Cape Coast. We are currently at the forecourt of the SMS Auditorium, that is the School of Medical Sciences Auditorium of the University of Cape Coast. And this is where the Student Representative Council of the University of Cape Coast is organizing a nice program for the student and they call it the power of choice, your sex, your life. We will be engaging them, the partners, and of course the participant to see the rationale behind the program. We'll spend time with the participant to find out if expectations are met or what they do expect in the course of the program. So do stick and stay with us as we engage the people here. But remember, if you have not subscribed to our channel, this is the time. Subscribe to our channel, your hit on the notification icon, and share the content for the world to get to know what we're doing here. Stay with us. We'll be back. And he is ready to have a conversation with us. He is the Student Representative Council, the Public Relations Officer of the Council. His name is Isifu Abdullah Bako Dima. Good afternoon, my brother. Good afternoon, Fidel. And uh, thank you for joining us here. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, we want to look at the rationale behind this program. You said the power of choice, your sex, your sexual life. Great. What brought this idea? All right, so the main purpose for this idea is to educate students about their sexual life, their reproductive health, and then to also educate we, the young ones, the youth, about the use of contraceptives, the do's and don'ts, some of the negative impacts of contraceptives, and then to also, in a way, make the university a disease free. Yes, so that is the main... Is it free? Yes. That is sexually transmitted so diseases? Which is the STIs, the gonorrhea, the syphilis, and so on. So that is the main rationale behind the power of choice, your sex, your sexual life. But, but could this mean that over the years you've been experiencing these uh, diseases that you, you talked about? Is that the case? Yes. Uh, over the years, uh, these issues have been happening. Students find themselves in this sexual transmitted infection. And then uh, you'll be surprised that most of them have these diseases that they are not even aware that this is what is within their body or this is what they've encountered. So with this program, we taught it twice to educate we, the young and the students, about some of these diseases, how they can detect early so that uh, they can go to the hospital so that they can be able to diagnose them and then find a solution to some of these problems. Mm. And you know, this STIS is, is transmitted. It, it, when we get in contact with another person through maybe sex or maybe through kissing or any other means, it gets to another person. So we realize that, okay, why not organizing a program where we educate the students on some of these uh, delicate issues so that the university community will be disease free the end of it or for academic activities to be able to be able to go right mr jonathan mensa is the marketing manager for dkt international and of course he's also ready to speak with us say thank you for making time to join us here and i hope you're fine yeah i'm good yeah. merry christmas anyway <laughs> right then let's look at what brought this collaboration between dkt and the src of university of Cambridge. I mean, um, it's something we've been wanting to do for quite a long time. Um, this is not the only institution we've been to. Um, we started this um, two years ago, and we've been to quite a couple of them, the track ready. Um, we've been here, but we went to the, the technical university. 
Um, that was somewhere last year. And, and it's it, what we are actually doing is, is out of the research that we found and we're trying to help, I mean, increase the knowledge on contraception, especially among the youth. Yeah. So out of the research, what did, you, what did you find? I mean, there are quite a lot. Um, I mean, the youth are more still towards the emergency contraceptives. So when you ask them, I mean, what sort of emergency, what sort of contraceptives are you on? They are quick to jump on and, 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 and say the, this, and usually the emergency. When I mean emergency, they are the, uh, the post pill For we, we have the, what we call the leader post pill yeah. But I mean, the, there are a lot of options in the basket to choose from. And that's what we are trying to communicate out there. And that's why our program is called The Power of Options. I mean, there are a lot of contraception options that you can explore, especially when you're sexually active. And we, we, we realize that, I mean, the knowledge is not there. And, and that's what we are trying to help increase the knowledge so that they can also explore the other options available. <laughs> We're still interacting with a student right here at the SMS Auditorium of the University of Cape Coast. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. What's your name? I'm Chris Tadini. Chris Tadini. What program are you studying? Right. Level 300. The power of choice. Your sex, your sexual life. What do we expect from this program? Well, nothing but the best. Uh-huh. And, and with the best, what are you what are you looking at? Okay, at the end of the program, I expect to say, I will learn about my sexual life, how to abstain. Even if I can't abstain, can I have to test medicine? Maybe condom or contraceptive. Ah, you just mentioned condom. Would you want to take some of the condoms away? Yes, I will. How many do you expect to take? Mm, maybe the pack. One pack. Of. One pack? A pack of condoms? I'm not going to ask you what you'll be using it for, but but tell us something about what you've heard about contraceptives. Okay, with the contraceptive, what I've heard about is maybe maybe when you are not sure after sex, you can oh, take you, or if the the guy penetrates, maybe give you semen or something, you can use it to avoid pregnancy. Yeah, let's say pregnancy. Abstinence is also a contraceptive. Would you choose that? Yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> And here is one of the participants who is ready to speak with us. Lady, how are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm also fine, thanks for asking. What brought you here? Okay, I came to listen to the sex lives people. I think I want more upgrade about my sex life, yes. That's why I came Right, so you basically expect to know more about your sex life. To add up to what I know already. Do you care to take some of the contraceptives? Yes, it's part of the reasons why I came here. I want to take the condoms, the Lydia contraceptives, everything. What are you going to use the condoms for? It is all about your choice and, of course, your sex life. Gentlemen, you're welcome to TV UCC. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Please, I'm fine yourself. I'm also fine. Thanks for asking. I like your T-shirt. Thank you very much. Once upon a time, I was there. You know, today is Friday. Okay. And we have to protect the tradition. Yes. Protect the tradition? Yes. The tradition of Talking the... Talking about protection, let me take you to the auditorium. Okay. What do you expect from this program? Okay. Honestly speaking, um, this program is obviously not for only... I'm a student. But are you a student? Uh, currently, I'm not a student. Go ahead. I'm a teaching and a research assistant at the Department of Religion and Human Values. No wonder you started the conversation by issuing a disclaimer. Yes. <laughs> anyway, as I said, this is for all of us. Those married, unmarried, singles and others. So we are just here to learn. And since we are also sexually active, it is very imperative to learn about this thing. In as much as uh, we may have, you know, ideas about these things, it is still uh, needed for us to be educated on certain things that we are not even aware. So that is the main reason why we are here. What makes you sexually active? Sexually active? What makes you sexually active? When, when you turn me on, it will make me sexually active. And what do you do? What do I do? Yes. For me personally, I don't do anything. When you're turning? Oh, I've never tried that. Before, so. You just told us that when the person, someone turns you on, oh, yes. it makes you sexually active. I'm, I'm asking you. Uh, I'm just trying to 
communicate to us so that I don't land in, into trouble. All right, I understand that they will be giving out contraceptives for yeah. free. Sure. Which of them are you going to take? Obviously, I will take um, all of them. Yes, all of them. If they give me, I will, I will take. I will take them. Uh, most importantly, the the two, the Lydia, yes, and the CD, the Pondo. Do you use Lydia? No, I can't use Pondo. Hey, I can't use Lydia, sorry. But for protection sake. Uh -huh. So now you have. Are you going to create a first aid box in your room because yes. you don't use Lydia? Yes. And that's what you're going to do. In fact, I have it already, so I've been. You have a first aid box in yes, your room. Please. And you purposely for contraceptive. So I, I just want to take these ones and add it to them. Interesting. Yeah. How many condoms do you use in a week? <laughs> what is in a week? Like I said, I don't want to land myself All right. in trouble. All right. <laughs> but I said I've never used them before. All right. But in a week, I think I use once a week condom. I use it to polish my shoe. In fact, the oil in the condom is very, very, you know, on that note, what happened when, when, when you get this feeling? Well, for me, um, over the past years, when, when I get such feelings, I just take some chilled water and I'm okay with that. Chilled water? Yes, please. What have you heard about contraceptives? Uh, yes, attending programs on campuses and other um, international programs, contraceptives have actually helped um, some of our ladies who have one or the other unprotected status to keep themselves out of pregnancy. Have you used any of the contraceptives before? Yes, um, I've recommended some form of um, contraceptive to some um, students in my class. And sometimes when I'm having a, a church program, I do recommend some of these contraceptives to the youth. But have you, have you used any of them? Abstinence, um, uh, condoms, uh, post pill? OK, so um, I'm not one way or the other, a sexual man. Like that, someone that has sex with. You don't have sexual intercourse? Yes, so have you been I, castrated? No, please. Everything is working. Everything is intact. And it's very long as well. But I, I'm not really interested in using um, condoms and all that. But I, I know hopefully when I get married, I'll be using that because probably I will not be um, wanting to be giving birth regularly. So I'll be using condoms. So you're a virgin, you can say that? Yes, yes. I'm a pure virgin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Right, in everything they say, there is a season, time to be born and a time to die. This is where we'll end today's edition of Campus Rundown here on TV UCC. My name is Louise Bequin. You can call me in the PDF. Uh, we came to the SMS Auditorium of the University of Cape Coast to interact with the student on the program, your, the power of choice, your sex, your sex life. And it was organized by the SRC. If there is anything that you would want to write to us, leave that at the comment section down below and we would highly appreciate it but if you have not subscribed to our channel please remember this is the time subscribe to our channel click on the notification icon and share the content for the world to get to know what we are doing here until we meet again it is bye for now stay safe and enjoy the rest of our programs